Yesterday the news came that Air France and uh, LM do kind of long haul fleet swap. So you actually give your A350 options to Air France and they give a couple of their 787s to you. I wonder what sense that makes for you and if you actually actually had planned to operate the 787-9 and 10 in your fleet side by side with the A350, that would have made any sense. Or what is the deeper meaning of this swap? Uh, well, I can be pretty clear and straightforward on that. Uh, we didn't swap options, but we swapped firm orders. So we had a firm order number of seven at KLM for the 350, uh, and there was another six firm on the 7H to come at Air France. If we see the operation of the 787-9s in the KLM operation, which are uh, combined with cockpit crew and cabin crew for the 777s, we achieve a lot of efficiency by having one fleet. Um, so, after the introduction of the 787-9 back in 2015, we have been able to progressively make a lot of efficiencies. We are very happy with the aircraft, we are very happy with the customer feedback on the aircraft. Uh, again, the, the 777 uh, uh, is the foundation and now we add to that the 787 and the first dash 10 coming in, not today but tomorrow, uh, into our operation. Yeah, the, the original plan, the question was, is, was there any plan to operate the 350? The original plan was indeed to operate the 350. That was a decision which was taken years ago. I think one of the benefits of being in a group like Air France KLM, that we have the opportunity to organize that. So we've been working that uh, together with Air France and the, the, the corporate structure of Air France KLM. We have been working to optimize our fleet allocation and as such been able to have a more efficient fleet at, uh, at KLM and speed up the introduction of the 350s at Air France, making sure that Air France has quicker, a bigger number of 350 aircraft and as such benefiting everyone.